Listen, the very first stat, which I know Kennedy knows I looked at, was our rebounding, and we out-rebounded them in the way that uh, a Bobcat truly resp would respond, right, when we're out there fighting, and that's 42 to 25, and that truly was the only thing to me that we needed to really get better moving forward, regardless of who we saw, regardless of what scheme they ran, regardless of who was injured uh, in our program. To me, at the end of the day, if we show that we're going to rebound, at the level that we're very capable of, then it makes a lot of things come together for us. And we did that tonight. I'm really proud of that. We were tracking on it um, within the game. It's something that we talked about. We definitely had moments where we did fall back in that area, and boom, then it, once again, these young women responded. And uh, obviously, it really helps when you have a phenomenal point guard like, like Kennedy navigating the ship out there, especially in this amazing crowd. What a great crowd. Um, I can't say enough about being able to bring this game to the local community. It started. Um, a few years ago, and when Don was an associate AD, he's now the AD, but he really started it and really went to the community and really pitched this idea as these games started to become bigger and bigger across the country. And now, you know, to bring in San Marcos ISD and see the kids have fun, cheer for the Bobcats, find a favorite player out there and cheer for, come back to games and bring your family, a really fun family atmosphere. And as a reward for the students, right? These young people have just gone through COVID as well. Now, I, obviously speaking as a parent, I've got a parent, um, I've got a kid in elementary school, but man, it was just so special and fun to see. Our players had fun as well. Sometimes I got to chuck them a little bit, they had a little bit too much fun, but I like that they like giving back. They always have and their hearts in the right place. So it's great. It was a great day across the board. What an amazing day to be a Bobcat because we're able to bring in these local students. These young women responded after a really tough game, which I think is really important. Coaching. Speaking of being a great regular Bobcat for yourself, you know, congratulations. Thank you, Joe. I, I appreciate feel, that. And, you know, it feels good, but it feel, I'll be honest, it's, it's a little strange because we're, I feel like I'm in the heat of it right now or like the beginning. And so you don't want to start reflecting, but I can tell you this. I absolutely love being at Texas State, very much like our COVID, our, our COVID seniors, specifically the four that have been with us. Like, I want to be here. This is where I want to be. This is where I want to win. This is where I want to raise my family. Being a Bobcat, um, is much deeper than what people see here, right? It's being able to walk the campus. It's the faculty and staff that I've met over the years. The faculty and staff that have touched my own children, right? That have, that um, whether they were at the CDC on campus, whether they one of them um, went to the learning specialist at Texas State, going to the classroom, cheering for them academically because we have a wonderful academic group. You need to know faculty and staff. You need just to know staff around here, custodial staff. There's so many pieces that make Texas State a great place. I mean, I ain't got to the food yet in places we have in the river and stuff we're able to do here. It's, it's a wonderful place to, to coach. It's a great place to go to school and get a, a great education. It's a wonderful place to raise your family. Um, so I'm very blessed. I'm very humble to have that title right now. And, and I'll go back to, again, records are meant to be broken. And again, I'll, I'll always refer back to my team. Kennedy's broken quite a few yourself. I'm, I'm glad that I'm breaking it with this crew. And, and my intention is to let's keep making getting those notches tougher for whoever that next person that comes in. So they have something to, you know, look forward to, to breaking as well. What did uh, Coach Fox tell you after the game? Uh, Coach Fox, uh, you know, Coach Fox, she um, she was very kind in her words uh, about being able to pass the baton. And uh, she was very kind in her words as far as recognizing things that have happened over my tenure. And she's always been a really good champion for Texas State. She gives back within our program. She gives to our, our Women's Basketball Foundation. She's present, and now obviously with her doing the colors, it's really good. And I know the one thing that she's always provided for me is a sounding board as far as kind of checking us where we are. And she's a defensive coach, so I think that's important. And just, you know, moving forward, listening to what she has to say. And she has the ability now because she's watching so many games, both on the men and women's side, to give me sound advice. So, you know, I, I appreciate her. Um, and again, again, she's a Bobcat. You know, once a Bobcat, always a Bobcat. Just having this atmosphere here, people don't know how special it is here. Kennedy, what does it mean that uh, the senior class was the one that, that helped push Coach Z to be the all-time winningest coach in Texas State history? Um, it's just it's amazing to see. You know, we did come back, you know, for a mission, and we were all just so happy when we put Coach Z up there. You know, she's the number one coach, but we are also ready to make her the uh, – we're trying to get her a championship, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, she goes out number one with the, you know, we go out with the championship. It's, we've been really great with the last senior class. So, it's a Bobcat. 
tell you how much fun was it playing in front of uh, all these kids? Oh, all these kids. It, it was really fun. You know, just coming out here and everybody singing number three, Kelly. And it was just really inspiring. And I'm glad we were able to win that out there for the Monterey show. Coach, you all were coming off a really tough loss against Louisiana. You know, there was a lot of things you were really disappointed about. But now, as practice led up to this game, what was the things that you all really focused on? And what, what how did this team bounce back from that? Really Our bad? team focused on being their best. And the thing that I most appreciate about this team is they rebound. They rebound. They bounce back. So they're um, an intelligent group of women. I think that that's, that's obvious academically. And there's times that we need to actually show them. And so when they now have the opportunity to see some of the losses we've taken, that that could have been changed within the game. Um, they really took that to heart. Not a lot of complaining in practice. We got after it. And they found themselves extremely successful. I say extremely because 42 rebounds to 25, that is a statement. And that's exactly what we're looking for. And those are the type of winners that they are. Um, so I think that's really important moving forward because the, the, the goal is to make a run. And we have to get better. And we don't have to be at our absolute best right now, but we need to see you know, improvement. So anytime you're able to do that, I think that's important, especially when you're able to do it at home. Kennedy, what was that mentality like after that loss against Louisiana? And how were y'all able to kind of use that to bounce back today? Um, I just think like we just took it all in. Our coaches staff did a great job of showing us, you know, where we could have definitely been better. So I think just as a whole, we all just kind of locked in, made sure that we weren't making the same mistakes that we did when we came out of the first game. So I think just knowing that, you know, we can always be better when it comes to today. And how important was it to establish against Georgia State that we were going to out-rebound them? Like, we wasn't just be by a little, it was going to be a lot. We were going to dominate the board. Um, yeah, like we've been working on it all week in practice. I mean, really from, you know, like the beginning of the season. So just knowing that, you know, we are capable of doing it, just going out there and just showing, you know, everybody that we're able to. And then, Coach, you know, start of the game, you know, the crowd's really hyped up, and y'all start in that very first possession. The shot clock runs out on Georgia State, and Texas State was exhausting. Went on a 7-0 run. How proud are you for this team to, you know, after a loss like that, y'all started off hot, and y'all kept the pedal on the metal. And we've talked a lot about our starts and specifically coming out actually of halftime. It's something that we've worked a lot on. Uh, I'm really proud of that effort because now the proof is in the pudding, right? They know we can do it. We just have to stay committed to it. And so that's the part of consistency you need. You're talking about making a run. So all these things we got to put together so there's some consistency. And really that's the next message, right? Consistency. So now from this game going into Arkansas State, it's going to be important. And Kennedy, how important was it to establish that fast start and as – just talking to coaches, keeping the, the gas on, putting that foot on the gas and making sure Georgia State wasn't going to come back in this game. Yeah, like Coach said, you know, we need to come out and, you know, do what we do for, you know, really talking about it all week. So knowing that, you know, we are able to do it was really important for us to go out there and just kind of continue to do that and keep that focus. And, you know, Kennedy, 14 points, you know, really hot from three point line. What was going right for you today? Um, just confidence from my teammates and my coaches, and, you know, just kind of staying in the gym. I've been in the system for a pretty long time, so I feel like I, you know, I know the ins and the ins and outs of it. So, just um, knowing the offense and just a lot of confidence from my coaches and my teammates. And coach, uh, you know, uh, Kennedy wasn't the only one. Uh, uh, Lauren Thompson had ten points. Bianca Eaton was having ten. Also had ten points. Like, what was going right for this offense today? They did a great job of sharing the ball, working the ball to just great shots, and understanding how we get our scores. I think was really important. And honestly, they enjoy celebrating each other. I love that. I love that. I love how they like celebrating each other. When one of them finds success and she feeds the ball in and she scores or somebody misses and you got offensive rebound, just seeing just seeing the joy. I mean, they're not out here laughing, giggling, just seeing the joy of, oh, yeah, this feels good. I absolutely love that about them. So it's good to see the way we share the ball, giving opportunities, right? That That's a true teammate. That's somebody who is playing unselfishly, and that's what we're asking for on both ends of the floor. And now, Coach, now that you're the all-time leader in wins in this program's history, what does it mean to you personally that, you know, when you first got here and to this point now that you've accomplished so much here at Texas State? I, I honestly haven't had any time to reflect on it. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I was a bit of a tyrant saying don't talk about it. I don't want to even talk about it at all. I want to focus on beating Lafayette. And then we got to this game and everybody was completely quiet, which I appreciated because my focus truly has been – um, finding a way to beat Georgia State, as it will Arkansas State. I think time to reflect will come at the end of the season because of when this falls. But I'm I'm, I'm humbled, like I said. I love being a Bobcat. Um, 
I love the opportunity for me as a woman of color as well to be able to lead these young women. Um, there's a lot of positive, but again, I'm not in reflection mode. I'm really right now wanting to wrap it up with y'all, go celebrate with them, and I now to get myself ready for Arkansas State uh, because they're just, you know, as excited as they are to win the championship, I've been excited this entire year preparing to help them uh, achieve that because as a former student athlete, there's nothing like winning a championship. It's fun to go to the NCAA. It's fun to go to the WIT, but there's nothing like saying you're a champion and, and you know, for those four to come back and the additional two that joined the class, and as hard as I'm pushing our coaching staff and our support staff, um, that's truly what I want to do with all of them.